Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. We're, today we're doing season 5, episode 5 of Legends of Tomorrow called Ahead of Her Time. So we start with the gang is um, worried about Constantine. Gary, sorry, Gary is worried about Constantine. And so he goes into the door and so, um, well he was trying to, so Gary did a spell and sees um, him being hurt through the people. Because they managed to pop that out. And basically, um, let's see, uh, then a poltergeist portra escaped, which is also um, Astra's mother. And then we cut to where Sarah creeps on Ava. <laughs> and then she wants to put Ava in charge while she goes to Star City for a little bit. And Ava kind of feels insecure about that. Then we cut to where Astra is playing poker and she gets denied um betting because um she's losing money left right and center she's like we gotta stay in the black and then we cut to where it's constant constantine versus the poultry guys and basically the girl the poultry guy's name is nat and she wants to go down memory lane so they do and then we cut to where <laughs> b gives zari a tour and everyone's kind of annoyed with Ava, <laughs> like a lot. And because they, they try to do it, she tries to do like a business meeting type deal and it doesn't work at all with them. Then Nora FaceTimes Ray and says, I love you. And so she said it back. Then Mick feels weird because he has a crush and he's not happy about it. So he's in love with the other girl. Oh God, what was her name? I want to say it. Hang on, let me check what the freaking name was. Because I recently did it, and you'll think I would remember it. Um, uh, crap, where is it? Hmm. I'm in the episode. I see the episode. Where is the hell? Uh, Allie, that's what I thought it was, Allie. So, he's not really happy about it. And so then we cut to where Ava, like I said, tries to the meeting, but then the legends start to leave. And so then Ava scrambles and tries to find a mission, and she does. And it's in 1793. And so Zari wants to join. So Zari gets them into the party. And um, basically, it's in the French Revolution where basically all the royals are being off, but this is like the opposite. And we have Napoleon's there, which he's not supposed to be there. He's supposed to be on some freaking island because of all the stuff that he did. And Mary Antoinette is there, and she's not beheaded yet. And she's like the life of the party. Then we cut to where Astra talks to the woman, and she wants to off Constantine. And then we go back to Constantine memory, where Nat and Constantine were best friends. Then in 1793, Napoleon is there. Like I said, then Nora slash Marie Antoinette was there. So basically, now the woman that plays Nora is also playing Marie Antoinette, and they were very, very similar. And then we cut to where the guillotine uh, was there. They thought that was like the magic item, but no, it was just there to cut cake. Okay. And <laughs> so then the charm. Then they found Charm is her superpower, and so they got her to make her jealous that oh, there's an exclusive after party. Have you never heard of an after party? It's where all the best people go. And so um, they are trying to lure her away, and then we cut to back in 2020 where John chose magic over Natalie. And then Gary got taken by the two little kids. Then uh, Natalie took over Charlie, and then in 1793, Ava tries with Mary Antoinette. It starts to work, and then it goes into Natalie because she decided to tell everybody what happened. So they try to run for it, and then um, her Mary Antoinette's head popped off. So apparently, she's already been beheaded. So, yeah. But it still managed to get her on the wave rider then back in 2020. Like I said, John talks to Nat, and basically she found a way to save her. So I guess Astra. Then we cut to where Zari talks to Antoinette, and then uh, 
Then Zarya looks into the future and sees her perfume failing and then her career takes a severe notice dive. So she wants to combat that and takes the perfume and basically the perfume is a um, superpower because it makes her popular. And then we cut to where Mary Antoinette's body escaped. And then Zarya's at the event in like 2043. And then um, a rapper named S'mores, which is like Marshmallow, but lamer, <laughs> honestly, uh, wants to propose to Zarya as a media stunt. Then we cut to where Ray warns the team. And then Zarya is at the Rakata and she does the perfume, the s'mores. Um, Larry proposes right then and there. He like he didn't intend to. He's like, screw it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then um, she got all over her and she runs for because it's like a media frenzy now where everyone is chasing her. And then um, it's Ray versus the body. And so Mick tried to take it out. That didn't work. And um now she has a flame gun <laughs> and is chasing them around. Then um, Ava dumps, um, uh, dumps Zarya on water. And the reason why it doesn't affect Ava at all, or Zarya, is because of the perfume screwed up their nostrils and they can't smell anything. So that's why they were not even affected at the party and stuff. Because people were literally like going on permanent vacations from dancing too much because they didn't want to leave the party. Anyway, dumps her in water and then there, then everything's fine. Then Ray got the body of Mary Antoinette and then back in 2020, um, basically found out that Loom of Fate is real and that Charlie destroyed it, but it's in pieces. Kind of like the death, the stick of destiny house broke into a billion pieces and they had to go find it. So that's probably what's going to be a theme of this season. Anyway, so, um, Let's see, then Charlie, like I said, Charlie destroyed it, then we cut to where Zarya apologizes to B, and then Sarah calls them and says, oh, everything's great, everything's fine, okay, bye. <laughs> and then we cut to where Zarya remembers when she ate the donut. She starts to remember everything that happened on the Wave Rider. Like, it's starting to come back to her, it's still in fragments, but she's starting to get multiple memories and stuff. Then she talks to Ava and basically is saying that Zarya has no true friends, but you got plus one with Ava, so they're friends now. And then Asher's friend is going is all starting off John. Then Charlie um, spread the pieces everywhere. Then John is going on a permanent vacation. And that's in the episode. Crazy episode. I really enjoyed it though. I gave it an A plus because you get to see what happens when you look into the future and it follows your career and how messed up that can get and just everything that's happening and um it definitely had its funny moment. I love how the show does have a perfect balance between funny and serious. Uh, I've always enjoyed that. The first season, no. <laughs> the second and on, yes. So I really, really have enjoyed um, watching it. I thought it was great and um, the fight scenes were good and then just the whole... It's amazing to me, though, how, you know, Ray and Nate are best be super smart, but they're so freaking dumb. Like, they're super book smart, but street stupid. I, I honestly, I wonder about them. They get, when they get together, they're too, like, bro <laughs> to me. But anyway, that is, it was still a great episode. I still really enjoyed it. And guess what? Guess what? I finished this whole notebook finished it and I've started a new three <laughs> so that's all the content I have coming on this channel it's a freaking lot so buckle up <laughs> anyway that's going to do for this video so like so please go to like comment down below tell me what you think do you agree disagree tell me your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe because that's out the channel a lot and I'll see y'all in my next video bye everybody